popular saying on here with team keep it clean stay ready so you ain't gotta what i let you go ahead and finish it first exactly stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready the ravens their offensive line has taken blow after blow after blow after blow after blow of course losing ronnie stanley for who knows how long they lost tyree phillips for a little while but glad to see him back uh ben cleveland he's out right now um so it, they they lost and not, it doesn't seem like he'll miss even a game but they lost bradley bozeman uh during the game last week uh their offensive line has been banged up alejandro villanueva he's been hurt he's played through it now but he's still been hurt so these guys have gone through it with the offensive line and with andre smith they used their two call-ups on him so now it's either active roster or if you want to bring him up again, you got to let him clear waivers. So we'll see what happens with that. But the Ravens were like, mm, we ain't going to wait around for that. So somebody who they, uh, they brought in for a visit, they end up liking him so much on that interview. They say, you know what? You're hired. And James Carpenter, uh, who just like Andre Smith, is a former first round pick uh, and he's a pick of the Seahawks and I know there were some people that said hey man this dude was a stud at Bama I hadn't even known he went to Bama so a lot of people were saying Ozzie Newsome them ties that Ozzie Newsome got oh they they still there and they ain't going nowhere even though it seemed like with Eric DaCosta he he rocking with them boomer sooner but anyway um this is a move to help bring some some veteran some quality veteran that veteran at the uh, offensive line uh and he's a guy obviously he was a free agent so nobody was taking a shot on him uh but the ravens were like look we feel like you could help out in a bind so come through so they are signing him to the practice squad uh so what that means is that he had he'll have two call-ups Whenever the Ravens decide to make that move, he'll have two call-ups, two times that they can call him up to the, <laughs> excuse me, to the active roster on game day. And then after that, well, we'll see what happens at that point. Uh, but they, they, they get a little bit stronger uh, on the interior. Um, and again, you got to be ready for these situations because of just the injury bug has bitten the Ravens big time this season. Um, and it, it was taking some big chumps earlier this season. Big chumps. But now it's still been biting, but it's been biting a little softer now, which we, 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 we appreciate that. We don't want anybody to get hurt, but we know it's football, so people are going to get hurt. It's like it's impossible to avoid it. I wish, oh, ooh, that would be so nice if, if real life was just as easy as Madden, even though Madden can be pretty challenging sometimes. But if real life was just as easy as Madden in franchise mode, where you could just go, turn injuries off. Just like that. Man, it would be great to see. Like, because we, we imagine it so much. We see how strong this team is. We see with all the injuries, they sitting at five and one. They atop the AFC. But we just imagine this team like, man, what if they were healthy? What if they were healthy? And it's so frustrating to think about that because they have so many injuries to so many significant players. So many. A lot. So just imagine and thinking about that. Mm, what, if the, what if the Ravens were healthy? Oh, boy. But anyway, that wasn't all. The Ra Again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Even though at most spots on their team this year, go going into this year, like around before preseason and whatnot, before all the injuries, going into this year, besides the offensive, the offensive line was where things were a little bit shaky, but overall going into this year, the Ravens had implemented that stay ready so you ain't got to get ready because they had some really nice depth at so many different positions. In the secondary, we were, we were loaded. We were like, man, we got all these good secondary, but what are we about to do with all these boys? I don't even know. Because we had Jimmy Smith, we had Marlon Humphrey, Tavon Young. We, of course, still got those guys, but we also had Marcus Peters, Chris Westry. So it's like with those guys being out, I mean, we could have been that much stronger. 
that much stronger and that much more depth. And I mean, the list goes on for for so many different positions. But when you get hit with that injury bug, you get hit hard. But anyway, Ravens are doing their best to stay ready, so they ain't gotta get ready. And they uh the Cowboys, they released Brandon Knight. That's a cool name right there. They released Brandon Knight. Um, and they were actually I didn't even know they were hoping to sign him back to their practice squad because they they want they want they want to keep him around in Dallas. But the Ravens said, nope. And the Ravens, they must have been the only team, unless, the only other team that could have put in a claim for him uh, would have been the Cardinals. But the Ravens must have been the only team that put in a claim for him, unless the Cardinals did too, because the Ravens have the best record in the AFC. And it goes in order, the, the, the waiver wire, if you're going to claim somebody that gets released from their team, it goes in order from... Who has the uh, worst record to who has the best record. And the teams with the best record, they have last place in claiming players. But anyway, um, they claim Brandon Knight from the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, so with them claiming him, he don't go to no practice squad. He's straight on the active roster. Right on the active roster. So he takes up, takes up a spot just like that. He's there. So with that being said... They, again, added more to the offensive line. More to the offensive line. And I wasn't familiar with Brandon Knight, but my guy, shout out to my guy, Cowboy X Factor. He said um, some insight on him from me. He's a good swing tackle that can provide depth. As I was hoping after Dallas Cowboys waived him, he would have been able to make the practice squad. But that didn't happen as this is the risk of releasing players like him. Now, with him being a former Cowboy. Ravens, when it comes to former Cowboys, at least recently, they got a pretty good track record, I would say. So hopefully he goes right along with that. Because we remember my guy, uh, Brandon Carr, and a, a lot of Ravens, I was like, hey, he, he was always there. And some Ravens fans like, oh, he was always there to get burnt. But no, my, shout out to my guy, Brandon Carr, man. Oh, reliable. And I remember when I said that last time, he said, oh, yeah, he's he, he, he a reliability to get burnt. But, boy, y'all be just, oh, boy. Anyway, um, Brandon Carr, he came over from the Cowboys, and he did pretty good. He did pretty good. A uh, very consistent player, um, a player that, again, super reliable. And then even more recently in the secondary, of course, there was Chris Westry. And we know what Chris Westry yeah, he, he was looking good. He Again, he would give up his one big play every game, but he would make a bunch of plays. Not a bunch of plays, but he would make a couple plays every game too. So uh, with Brandon Knight, depth guy, and like, like my guy Cowboy X Factor said, it's a swing tackle. So just in case, we hope that we don't need him. We hope that he's just there for depth, and that's it, that we won't need him to start anything like that. But... It's nice to, again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Because if you're ready, when stuff happens just in case, then you'll still be good to go. It's like when your parents tell you, um, and this is it's hard. They say, hey, save, save, save your money. Save your money just in case of a rainy day. That's your parents. Your parents been telling you, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. My mom used to always tell me that. Save your money. Just in case. Just have it like a little rainy day fund. Put some money to the side. Every time you get paid, put, put some money to the side. And I would hear, but I wouldn't really hear. And then when, when the rainy days came, it was like, Mommy, can, can you help me out? But again, that was her way of telling me, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And these players, these are Ravens rainy day fun players. These are Ravens, their savings players, the just in case players. So it's nice that they are, they see the problem, they know a problem, and they're trying to address the problem as best they can. Because we don't expect them to go out and trade for this, oh, this offensive lineman here, this offensive lineman there, these top tier offensive lineman guys. But... They, they are making some moves.
to try to uh, alleviate the issue. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Brandon Knight is when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys, I'm out.